So in order to get the bumper trim off, there's a few screws you're gonna to need to remove. The first couple are right along the edge of this wheel well here. And there is one up inside there as well. Next, inside the vehicle, there's gonna be a couple of screws uh, behind the tailgate in each corner. And uh, I'm gonna spray everything with some lube to loosen things up. Same thing on the opposite side. There's gonna be a few screws to remove to uh, pull that back bumper off. And finally, underneath the hitch, I slide underneath here. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get an angle. Okay, there's one. Let's see if I can focus on it. Uh, there are three on this 2007. And three screws holding the bumper on underneath. And uh, I'll try and get a good shot of those. All right, so I'm removing all these screws by hand with a Phillips screwdriver, screwdriver just because this is all plastic. And these are actually coming out pretty easy. Just remember there's gonna be four on each side. If you are paying attention to the detail, the lowest one, as well as the one that's kind of tucked up inside, those are the two that are gonna have the washer. So the two in the middle uh, will not have the washer. Keep that in mind when you're putting it all back together. The four screws removed from each side in the wheel well, I'll now go after uh, the screws, one on each side that's inside the tailgate. All right, once those screws are removed, uh, also on each side, there's gonna be a bolt above where you remove the screw. That's a 10 millimeter, so one on each side. Remove those. Underneath the car, I actually do have a trailer hitch. Uh, so I'm using uh, two extensions on my socket wrench. Those are 10 millimeter heads. Uh, these are the bolts that are very likely going to be corroded and rusted. So when you put your socket on that bolt, you wanna push up into the vehicle as hard as you can when you try and break that free. I am actually going to spray a little uh, uh, lube on there to try and uh, help me loosen those things up. I do not want to snap those or that'll just make this project that much harder. So there's three of them underneath the car. Get those out. All right, so I'm not going to lie, that was kind of a pain in the butt, uh, but I took my time. I did not strip any of them and I got them all out. I will grease these up. Um, actually, uh, I'll clean them up, but I'll actually put a little, looks like I'll, I'll probably put them back on with a little thread lock. Uh, but uh, but be careful. Uh, these will be the rusty ones that you don't want to snap if you can avoid it. All right, now with all your bolts removed, what you want to do is you want to start inside a wheel well, and you want to really, I kind of started this one already, you want to pull it straight out towards you and just go very slowly along the bumper. And when you get to the back, don't pull it down. Um, You've got a back headlight right here. You'll, you're gonna be tempted to wanna pull down, but you don't want to. If you look at these tabs, it goes straight in. So you simply wanna, when you get around the corner of the back of the car, pull it straight back. I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna work the other side off and then I'll pull that bumper straight backwards off the back of the car. Uh, what I'm trying not to do here is break any of the plastic. slide down into your new bumper reinforcement. Here's what that steel bumper reinforcement looks like. It doesn't look too bad from the top, but all the corrosion is underneath. Pretty good amount of rust fell out from underneath uh, that bumper housing once I pulled it off. So I'm gonna clean that all up before I start working on uh, loosening the hardware to the bumper reinforcement. Okay, I should have seen this ahead of time, but my hitch mount down here actually is covering 
a lower bolt down here that I need to remove. So this hitch is held on to both sides with three 19 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna get those off right now. And then once uh, I do, you can actually see, uh, that's a 14 millimeter bolt down there. And there's a 17 underneath that I'll get to as soon as I remove this hitch. These are the uh, 19 millimeter bolts that are uh, holding on my trailer hitch. Um, I'm using a combination of heat and uh, I've given each one a good hit with a hammer uh, in order to break them free. So now I'm going to use my impact to uh, remove those. Uh, there's three on each side. Getting this hitch mount off is uh, kind of a pain in the butt. I need to take a beer break. After a series of heat and a little hammering and the impact, uh, I got that uh, trailer hitch off so we can kind of jump back into this project by changing that uh, bumper reinforcement. All right, with the trailer hitch removed, we now have access. Uh, there is the top bolt that we need to remove on the right hand side. And then I'm gonna slide under. And there is the 17 millimeter bolt. So I'm gonna put some heat and some lube on these things. I wanna make sure I don't snap anything. I'm gonna hit all four bolts with some PB Blaster penetrating lube to see uh, if this helps uh, loosen those bolts up. Again, I don't wanna uh, snap any of them or that will slow down this project significantly. I'm gonna remove the two bottom 17 millimeter bolts first. The bottom ones are the ones I was really worried about. They came out nicely. So next I'm just gonna remove the 14 millimeter uh, nut on both sides. Then I can pull this bumper reinforcement bar off. All right, both of those 14 millimeter nuts came off very easily. Now I should be able to pull this right off. Here we go. I placed the old one next to the new one before I unwrapped it, just to see if the general dimensions look good. And they do, so now I'll unwrap it and just make sure that all the holes line up and that it is indeed a good match. All right, the new bumper reinforcement bar, it looks like a good fit. I even uh, placed the styrofoam uh, pad on top of it and it, it slides into the holes nicely. So we'll go ahead and uh, keep moving forward. All right, this is what the back of the car looks like without that bumper reinforcement bar on. Uh, before I do install it, I am just going to do a little uh, wire brushing and uh, I'm gonna touch up uh, some of these, some of this rusted metal with some Rust-Oleum just to give it a little added protection. See if I can give this car a few more years. <clears throat> thread lock on the bottom bolts. We've got the new bumper on secured with the four bolts, a uh, little thread lock added to them. Uh, put some rust oleum around some of the rust spots that were exposed once I pulled the rear bumper and um, old reinforcement uh, bumper off. So now all that's left is I'm gonna wipe down the plastic bumper housing and uh, I'm gonna place it back on and push it all back in place and then put all those screws and the three 10 millimeter bolts back in place. All right, while the bumper's off, I'm just gonna hit it with a little detailer in some of the areas I can't get to once it's on. Just wanna get it clean. A little bit. All right, first thing we're going to do is put our foam pad back in. Get that secure. Now I'm going to slide this back in and I'm going to get that plastic underneath the brake light. 
That's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. I'll do one side first. Once the bumper is set, we're just going to reverse the process. I'm going to start by putting the two uh, Phillips screws in the rear to hold it nice and snug. Next, I'll put those two 10 millimeter screws in, which are right above. Next, I'm going to put the 10 millimeter uh, screws that go underneath the bumper up into that piece of metal uh, to hold the rear. Now, underneath your bumper, uh, depending on the condition of your um, uh, replacement bar, uh, you may have lost all your clips. If you have not and you have a couple, um, put those back in to uh, secure uh the trim to the bumper itself, the bumper reinforcement. All right, so I have two, but in my case, I'm actually missing two. So I put the two I had in the middle, and I'll stop at the hardware store and pick up two more and get that secured. Okay, I have my three 10 millimeter uh, bolts reinstalled underneath the bumper. The only thing left now is to replace uh, the four screws on each side in the wheel well. Once you've got all four screws replaced on both sides, you're done. Okay, the rear bumper reinforcement has been installed. My parts cost about $135. If you were to have this done at the shop, probably would cost you between seven and $800.